hi everyone welcome to this video production this video production will bless you greatly as you watch and pray along prepare to receive prophetic declarations by apostle joshua selman feel free to like share comment and also subscribe thank you so much for joining us and god bless you welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word be that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's life. Now I stretch my hands. Anyone here who has been under the influence of territorial spirits, influence of covenants and yokes of darkness, binding destinies down, I come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I decree and declare at the count of three, I ask that you shout, Jesus. Ushers, please bring them out. Satan, you let them go. In the name of Jesus, it is upon Mount Zion that the Bible declares that there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of Jacob will possess their possession. South Africa, at the count of three, you will shout Jesus. Are you ready now? One, my God. Two, three, shout Jesus. Be released right now. Be released right now. I cost devils. I break curses. I cost devils by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Release their destinies now in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Bring them out by the anointing of the Holy Spirit, blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against you, spoke against your children, spoke against your family. This is Mount Zion. I declare deliverance by the Spirit of the Living God. Every speaking of darkness binding you, repetitive patterns, patterns of darkness, patterns of failure, patterns of death, patterns of weakness, in the name of Jesus, be released now, be released now, be released now, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, be released now. Job said you shall be delivered from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. Every evil speaking over your life, programming failure, programming woes, be released now. 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 My God, be released now. Spirits of delay being tied down in one place that you're not able to make progress here at this conference i decree and declare go forward go forward go forward the chains of delay broken broken over your destiny broken over your career broken over your business spirits of poverty spirits of inheritance dying down people that they don't go forward he said son of man what seest thou and he said i saw four horns these are the horns that have exalted themselves above israel above judah and above jerusalem he said but i have sent four carpenters i come tonight as a carpenter that every horn that has tied down your life by the power of the Holy Ghost, be released now. It's time to go forward. It's time for a new chapter of your destiny to be opened. Oh, I prophesy to someone, remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. I'm saying it to you as a prophetic word. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. In this season, God is doing a new thing. In your ministry, a new thing. In the life of your children, a new thing. In the life of your family, a new thing. For a businessman, a new thing. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let me speak to someone. 
from September to December what you've not done in 10 years may my God my God may the God of my covenant make it work in your life I release that grace upon you in four months God who has shown me mercy God who has shown me help I invoke Ebenezer the helper of men enjoy help extraordinary supernatural help in the name of Jesus are you praying in the spirit are you shaking up weight are you shaking up burdens it's time to fly it's time to run like a victor that you are house of treasures this is a new season men and women of god this is a new season ministry at another dimension the apostolic at another dimension the prophetic at another dimension intercession at another dimension hallelujah please don't be distracted we are praying it says i desire to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us everything that should have entered your hands but was hindered by demonic operations i come tonight as a prophetic midwife i push it to your destiny to your destiny may it manifest by the power of prophecy i push it to your destiny in the name of jesus i push it to your destiny your eyes will see it it will manifest speedily in the name of jesus christ open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit in one minute everyone please pray in the spirit in one minute please pray in the spirit in one minute Pray in the spirit in one minute. in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray please don't be distracted in jesus name we pray please give us genesis chapter 27 and verse 20. every high thing must come down every stronghold shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you are overcome can you help him every high thing must come down every song all shall be broken you wear the victor's crown you overcome you overcome every high thing must come down every song all shall be broken you wear the victor's crown look at this i want to pray a very unique prayer the lord opened my eyes to see this years ago and it changed my life this is the mystery of speed I want you to listen there is such a grace for speed watch this when Isaac sent his sons to go and get him venison so that he will bless them the Bible says Jacob disguised as Isaac as Esau and when he came to his father Isaac listen carefully Isaac said how is it that you have found it so quickly under normal circumstances you should not be back by this time here was his answer he said because the lord 
hath brought you to me there are men that go to look for things but there are men that God brings you to them I speak over your life in the name of Jesus that the things others are looking for compromising for may my God bring it to you may my God bring men to you in the name of Jesus Christ Hallelujah. Now I pray for all those in front. I use them as a point of contact. That every demonic thing that has, has kept your life down, here at House of Treasures, we decree and declare. The Son has set you free. Therefore, we declare you are free indeed. You are free indeed. You are free indeed. Free to testify. Free to advance. Free to make progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 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 I decree and declare over all those in front here. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. We declare your deliverance perfected. You will never be victims of what you've been delivered from. We release you, go and excel. In Jesus' name we pray. Return to your states rejoicing. Let's give Jesus a big hand. Every Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You are the God. You are the God. Every high king must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You are the God. You are the God. Hallelujah. I'm still seeing the Lord touch sick people. I'm seeing someone you're not able to bend so well you have very severe pain very severe pain I cause that pain now the name of Jesus Christ she's on a um, she's not able to walk make sure she doesn't fall in the name of Jesus I cause that spirit out of her now in the name of Jesus I release you by the power that raised Christ from the dead let strength return to you and every ordinance of darkness responsible for this satanic thing I come against it in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the spirits behind barrenness I come as one sent let God's people go now I cause every demonic influence responsible for barrenness out of their lives now out of their lives now out of their lives now I release you in the name of Jesus that everything that has held you down causing miscarriages you're causing miscarriages you take in but you lose a child you take in but you lose a child you take in but you lose a child I release you now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God now I decree and declare for husband and wife according to the time of life return with your children come on are we agreeing with them return with your children by the power that raised Christ from the dead return with your children return with your children where it has failed go back again this time around with this anointing and may God honor you may God honor you everything that needs to be corrected in your body may it be corrected now corrected in the husband may it be corrected now corrected in the wife may it be corrected now in the name of Jesus Christ please return back to your seats rejoicing Hallelujah. I feel stirred in my heart to pray for a special group of people and I'm just I'm just acting as the Spirit of God if I'm not able to teach anything no problem I'll still be alive next year
Hallelujah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. There are people here who are in serious debt, financial situations. I'm not saying to come out. And I'm not saying that if you want money, I'm talking of people who are in trouble. Are we together? I will pray increase. Increase is different from deliverance from financial calamity. I want to pray for you. I'm talking of people. It doesn't matter how you got there. A bad investment, defrauded. It doesn't matter how you got there. But there is an unction tonight. Hmm. Despise not prophesying. You will marvel and wonder. I know you are intelligent. But you see, when you get into financial problems, it's not intelligence that brings you out. It is prophecy. He said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. And he said, where fell it? In the name of Jesus, I pray particularly for a family, a business, a corporation that is in Aparato Shali Kaparondo Theater. You are in serious financial problems. And as it stands right now, help is not coming from anywhere. And you've made up your mind that you will not compromise. But the consequence is that trouble is imminent. I pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. May God raise strange helpers to stand by you. May my God raise strange helpers to stand by you. Some of them strangers you have never met. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to rebuke a spirit. There is a lady here. You are a number of ladies in your family. It's like there is a spirit. Nobody marries and remains in their parents, their, their husband's home. Something must happen and return them back to their family. You are about to be delivered now. Right now in the name of Jesus. Every orchestration of darkness that will not allow marriages stand in South Africa. In the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter how decent the marriage is. Something will always happen and return you back to your parents' homes. Weep not, for the book is open. The lion of the tribe of Judah is worthy to open the book and to unlock the scroll. You see, believers, look at me. Let me teach you something. Do you know why the Bible mandates that we be compassionate? Not everybody's problem is out of carelessness. Are we together now? The Bible says, and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Let the lady sit. Please don't pressure her. Let, let, let her sit. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us the end of Jabez's story. Then it says that he was named Jabez as a baby because the mother bore him in sorrow. She named him Jabez. And the Bible says one day Jabez got angry and he said, God, we need to talk. I didn't participate in the pain that I may have caused my mother, but I've been a victim of her speakings. It says, Jabez cried to the Lord and said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. Thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast and that you will keep me from evil. And he said a number of things and the Bible says the Lord heard him. My dear sisters, look at me. Let me tell you this. Hear me. Truly, God delivers. Are we together? Do you know that there are wicked spirits that make sure good people marry terrible people? That you will see a good lady and be seeing something else. You will see a good man and be seeing something else. Then the devil will orchestrate demonic forces and you get yourself into trouble this is what happens when we see jesus now the lord is that spirit the bible says 
I see many of you crying. It's a representation of your pain. But listen, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus is able to bring an end. He says, come unto me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden. He says, I will give you rest. Can I pray for you now? Yes, you Yeshua Yeshua Now I decree and declare, believers hear me in the name of Jesus, the captain of our salvation, the one who translated us from darkness to light. Everyone here under any spell that makes women or men in any case. Because listen, the fact that there are women here does not mean it's only women. It's not a women's problem. Are we together now? I decree and declare every orchestration of darkness frustrating you I declare be released now be released now be released now look what I'm seeing I'm seeing a veil like a bride but it's a black veil and I'm not even seeing her face this is what I'm seeing that garment of shame let it be torn apart now. 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 That garment of shame in the name of Jesus. The Bible says to give them beauty for ashes. The garment of praise for a spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. I decree and declare over you and your siblings here connected every comment of shame be released right now in jesus name your homes be released right now your homes be released right now in the name of jesus christ For some of you, by reason of this prayer, let there be supernatural reconciliations. Supernatural reconciliations. Every husband who is a prodigal husband, roaming away by demonic spirit, wherever they are, we restore their sanity and we restore them back home. We restore their sanity, we restore them back home. We restore their sanity. We restore them back home. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I decree and declare be released now. Every one of you. Let it be over now. In the name of Jesus. Return to your seats rejoicing. Please return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. Yeshua, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is going to be raising women in South Africa. Listen, please, listen, 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 please listen, please listen. Sometimes we don't hear a prophetic word, and then even when we say amen, we are uh, amen is not constructive because we've not yet understood what God is saying. There are women who are going to be raised in South Africa. 
and there are three areas number one is prophetic intercession i'm going to release these graces number two entrepreneurship women who will rise like 10 men as one single woman do you believe this number three education this is what the lord is telling me men i will pray for you but let's focus on the women now let me repeat myself again god is going to raise women and uniquely anoint them in the area of prophetic intercession and everyone here who is called into this ministry of prophetic intercession may that grace i stretch my hands from this altar right now receive an outpouring of that grace fan your secret place back to flames you don't have to bring them out don't worry my dear people you don't have to bring them out just guide them right where they are from the back to the front from the left to the right every daughter of zion every daughter of abraham called to understand the mystery of warfare and intercession i empower you by the anointing i empower you by the anointing pray the prayer that shifts climates pray the prayer that changes seasons in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now hear me quite honestly i don't know how women fare in terms of business and entrepreneurship in south africa i've not taken time to ask but since this is what the lord has told me i want to pray there are women whose hands are about to be anointed in a mighty way i decree and declare to a woman who will single-handedly rise as a kingdom financier frontiering the course of the kingdom you may be ordinary now my beloved sister but don't undermine what the anointing can do i pray for you by the anointing of the spirit of the living god some of you in one year god will shift you in one year you will be employers of labor in the name of jesus receive that grace right now receive that grace right now ideas witty inventions ideas witty inventions hallelujah hallelujah you see let me tell you this the prophetic is very powerful it deposits grace upon your life and creates the climate that makes that grace work i'm saying it again to a daughter of abraham you may be alone now limited not even knowing anything about entrepreneurship but because it has so pleased the lord to single you out and to place grace upon you beginning from tonight may your eyes see what others don't see in the name of jesus and then number three education there are some of you who on account of this impartation you will not rest till you stretch to the highest level intellectually speaking and god will make that happen for a reason so that it will empower you to sit strategically across certain strategic educational seats and then you legislate on behalf of the kingdom this is for everybody but i'm speaking particularly to ladies because it is what the lord is ministering to me i pray in the name of jesus not for everyone but for someone here you may look ordinary but may my god take you to the highest educational level possible you will brainstorm with captains of industry you will brainstorm with giants of nations presidents prime ministers ambassadors in the name of jesus christ for some of you here institutions will call you 
and they will seek you to create models models in the name of Jesus Christ said be the name of Jesus let me pray one prayer for the man before we sit down this is not God telling me this is by desire in my heart let me tell you something in Africa listen carefully this is for everybody the whole world is following but let me speak to my people Africa there is a spirit of late establishment listen carefully with all due respect there are many parts of the world that when you go as teenagers you will see young teenagers already established in africa it seems to be a cause to be established on time i'm not talking of fraud um, and scam i don't know what you call it in south africa but the general name is fraud eh? i'm not talking of people who are involved in those, those nonsense i'm talking of the dignity of kingdom integrity do you know it is a cause to spend all your days looking for money it's not just a cause it's a distraction you will never be able to serve god in spirit and truth you have heard me say there is only one reason why israel goes to egypt hunger not hunger for spiritual things hunger hardship what took the sons of jacob to egypt until they became slaves for 430 years was hunger There's a miracle happening there. Hey! Please take it easy on her so she doesn't hurt herself. No! There's a miracle happening there. Are you seeing what the Lord is doing? Hallelujah. Come on, South Africa. Hallelujah! She came on this wheelchair. Look at you can even see a cast. Hey! Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Hallelujah. Look at this. Look at this. I decree and declare yes, that everything that is not working in your life by reason of this service may it begin to work now. May it begin to work now. May it begin to work now. When I say rise up and walk, I'm not just saying rise up from the wheelchair. Some of you, it is rise up from shame and walk. Some of you, it is rise up from poverty and walk. Rise up from mediocrity and walk. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy unto you. Rise up and walk. Rise up and walk. Let the devil see the wheelchair again. Over South Africa. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I declare perfection over this woman in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, hear me. Everything in your life that has refused to walk, I'm saying it again. I prophesy to you rise up and walk. Someone said, rise up and walk rise man of god rise up and walk yes, businessman rise up and walk yes, student rise up and walk in the name of jesus rise up and walk rise up and walk in government rise up and walk in your ministry rise up and walk hallelujah there are men and women who will drink of this fountain right now i decree and declare i want you to pick them and bring them out very quickly father you gave me this song by the spirit and you said upon singing it the spirit of wisdom and power will rest upon many for their destinies therefore i stretch my hands at the count of three may this fountain break open one now take that grace now bring them out take that grace now take that grace now breathe the lord
lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations bring them out, see Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorify breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe upon my heart in the name of Jesus I decree and declare every altar that has tied your destiny down I want you to bring them out as God preach right now some of you a physical wind will blow towards you and in the name of Jesus every ordinance of darkness must give way now Satan by the breath of the Spirit let God's people go now let God's people go now let God's people go now Bring them out. Shalakatos. Ancestral causes. Yokes of darkness. Spirits of bondage. Familiar spirits that have tied down destinies. I decree and declare. Release them now. Release them now. Release them now. I receive. I manifest. Your power. Your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up. The Lord is showing me, I'm, I'm seeing a revelation and the Lord is telling me that there is a spirit that has held on to women. Women in many families, their destiny is not just maritally, it has tied everything in their life. In the name of Jesus, as my God breathes upon this congregation, every daughter of Abraham who has been bound by witchcraft, be released now. Be released now. Be released now! Be released now! Elama Shabakas Kobarakosiata, Egra Kapaskalika Parusiata. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft, at the count of three, you're going to shout the name Jesus. And as you shout that name, that devil must let you go. I'd like you to be sensitive. Koinonia, are you ready? My father, I pray that by the mystery of this, your wisdom, let the bound be free now. At the count of three, shout Jesus. One, two, three.
rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his wisdom, his power. Receive, manifest his power. His wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted to the nations. See Jesus. Who is Gabriel? I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Please, I want you to be sensitive. God is doing a quick walk. Is there someone called Gabriel? Very quickly, I want to speak to you. And then I'm hearing the name Hosea. Who is Hosea? H-O-S-E-A. I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front. There is an impartation that is happening. Who is Hosea? Your name is Hosea. Where are you coming from? My name is Gabriel, sir. Gabriel, who is Hosea? I'm hearing a name Hosea. The Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am praying. Is that the, that's the name of your baby Gabriel I will pray for you father I stretch my hands I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you this is not to these guys. I'm here. I don't know what was taken from you, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy. Therefore, I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing, it returns now. 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 Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family, I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea. And the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in circles. It will come, then it will stay. The help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus, for that lawyer, captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody's like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It dies right now. It dies right now. Hallelujah. You're going to sing this song two times, just the brief part. You just do what I'm asking you to do. At the end of this, the second time when you sing it, please hear me. I'm going to pray for the sick. We'll work with time. But at the second time, the moment you sing it, I'm hearing the cry of babies. Listen, and the Lord is saying, and I want, I'm saying it in the open. The Lord is saying one of the miracles 
that will begin to manifest in this ministry is extraordinary fruitfulness people that have been trusting god for children for a long time i want you to know that this is your prophetic word it's not a song it's not a song are you ready now breathe lord breathe say breathe lord breathe breathe upon my life God for the fruit of the womb lay your hands whether for you or for someone you can stand for someone you are a man you can stand for your wife I want to make this declaration God does not lie in the name of Jesus the gates of fruitfulness that has been locked up either by witchcraft my God I'm just seeing fire burning things that look like threads in the name of Jesus Christ at the instruction of the spirit I decree and declare koinonia here in Abuja and across the globe, all those trusting God for the fruit of the womb, in the name of Jesus Christ, receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. Receive your miracle children. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me an impartation that he's doing now is an impartation of the grace for teaching a prophetic dimension of the teaching grace this is not for everybody I don't know why God will interrupt the thing like this but I stretch my hands the grace of a teacher may that grace rest upon you right now the grace of a teacher may that anointing man to you wherever you are you are a man of God here, I decree and declare the capacity to draw wisdom from the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, ladies and gentlemen. One of the ways that we draw the wisdom of the spirit is when we engage in prayer even praying in the spirit when we begin to pray in the spirit you are not just sounding and bringing gibberish you are giving the holy spirit room to search the mind of the father and he will bring to you this is how this song came this is how many other things can be transported from the realm of the spirit i want to declare there is a baptism that god wants to do now is a baptism of fire that will help men pray until they receive wisdom in the place of prayer father i don't know where they are but from the north to the south east to the west all over this auditorium there are people who need to draw forth wisdom from the spirit the grace and the mantle for prayer that will cause you to pray and press into realms until you access wisdom may that grace rest upon you now May that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's someone you came here. You could not move your neck very well. I want you to check yourself now. The power of God has touched you. You are wearing like green or lime, something like that. This is what I'm seeing in the spirit. Is there someone like that? Come, come. Where? Why are they clapping? Check yourself and come. A miracle has happened to you now. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Breathe, Lord. Upon my life. Sing, breathe, Lord. I manifest your power, 
your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up glorified madam you had a problem what what did, what was the problem for some times now i've been feeling hotness in this side of my body just today the team moved madam down. looked at me i want Sorry. look at me i want to pray for you so that we'll save time i'm seeing that the devil brought stroke this thing would have led to stroke you've been feeling half of you it's as if you feel numbness yes, sometimes yes, yes. i want you to stand up yes. check your neck now move it don't be afraid just do what i'm asking you to do move it any pain look at this any pain in the name of jesus that devil of darkness that has brought stroke to your body we command it back to hell where it came from back to hell where it came from in the name of jesus christ Mama, look at me. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom, but I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin and the Lord is saying to bring you out of there. I use Mama as a point of contact. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit, that is only a matter of time. Believe me, I know what I'm seeing that makes me say what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus, anyone who has been buried in the spirit, I declare, come out of that demonic coffin now. Come out of that demonic coffin now. Help my mother. I stretch my hands, mama. In the name that is above all names, you will not die. Hence, God has brought you here tonight. We forbid you from untimely death. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a family from Edo State. And the Lord is telling me that the power of God is coming upon you. There is a very strange manifestation of witchcraft. Witchcraft that does not allow people rise. This is Edo State. In the name that is above all names. I pray for whoever that person is as may, be, as may apply. Wherever you are. In the main auditorium, all the overflows are following online. That demonic spirit that comes as a result of territory by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now. Yes. Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom. And I'm usually very careful to make announcements like this. But I'm hearing in my spirit now. And the Lord is saying, announce it openly. The Lord is asking me to pray for one of the senators in this country that he will not fall and go the way of the grave. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not a prophet of doom. I don't come out to waste my time. I have serious things to do. So it's not, I would not speak like this if God did not put it in my heart. I fear God, but I also respect myself. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hence God has revealed it. We pray for all our serving senators. If there is anyone that the devil wants to bring to the grave by the mercies of God we decree and declare may they be preserved yeah. by the mercies of God may they be preserved yeah. one of these my ushering ladies I know you people are walking but the power of God is coming on one of you God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time that he has brought answers to it the prayer you have been praying for a long time the prayer you have been praying for a long time even though you are ushers you are serving but God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time that he's bringing answers to it the prayer you have been praying for a long time in the name of Jesus I decree and declare as God is touching them every long-standing prayer point that you have written and written and written and written again may my God arise and breathe upon that prayer right now Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. 
the Lord is asking me to pray against kidnapping for a particular family. Just lend me a few minutes and we'll be done. It's a very influential family. I'm seeing people conspire and kidnapping this person and asking for a ransom of over 100 million in the name that is above all names. Anybody who wants to kidnap and kill anybody, this one, I'm the one praying, quarter to that time, may the earth open and swallow them. I say it again. I stand as a man of God that anybody conspiring to get any made the earth open and swallow them in the name of Jesus Christ may the earth open and swallow them hallelujah place your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing I want to speak over your life now all those in front here there is a woman I, I want to pray for you um, because what you are what you think is just a lump and pain I want to cause it I'm seeing a manifestation and this is something that is cancerous and the Lord wants me to rebuke it you just think it's just a lump but this thing is the devil wanting to put I hope you know that cancer is a spirit do you know that please believe it any daughter of Abraham here that the devil has planted any satanic thing in your body I stand by the God who sent me for your sake I decree and declare tonight cancer dies from your body cancer dies from your body cancer dies from your body Cancer dies from your body. Cancer dies from your body. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, anyone here who is sick, you came with a sick person, you can release your faith. And I know that many hospitals graciously follow the miracle service. All the hospitals that are following right now, you can just allow the patients to make contact just by stretching their hands. Or if the patients are unconscious, you can leave them. The loved ones who are there with them can stand. I'm about to pray. We want to release healing to the nations and to release it here right now. Please, I want you to believe healing is real. I am a product of the healing ministry of Jesus. I pray right now, every spirit that is back of any infirmity, it does not matter the name, the form, the fashion, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. Right now I decree and declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood conditions be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Pile be healed now. All kinds of growths in your body, I command them to die now. Any abnormality in your body, drying up your bones, drying up your blood, be healed from it now. HIV be healed. Diabetes be healed. Arthritis be healed. Blindness be healed. Deafness be healed. Pile be healed. Kidney problems be healed. Liver problems be healed. Heart conditions be healed. Children with autism be healed. Migraine headaches be healed. Cataracts be healed. Glaucoma be healed. Colon cancer be healed. Prostrate cancer be healed. Lung cancer be healed. Bone conditions be healed. Joint problems be healed. You are here and your SS genotype, we change it now in the name of Jesus. There's someone who's been suffering a problem of indigestion. 
I don't know what it is, but it looks like some kind of gastrointestinal problem. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I stretch my hands now and I decree and declare, may the power of God touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Now I want to pray for someone I'm seeing in the spirit. Both men and women, from the family you come from, there is a spirit. I'm not asking you to come out. This is the spirit of drunkenness. You love God, oh, but you cannot see alcohol. It's not like whether you are good or bad. I want to pray for you because that thing you see can kill. I'm praying for you. First, the mercy of God, where you have roasted your liver, roasted parts of your body because of consuming some of these poisonous things. May God show you mercy. And then I am praying right now. Please take it seriously. I curse the spirit of alcoholism. Let it die now in the name of Jesus Christ. And then the Lord is asking me to pray for a family. I can imagine that many families will be connected to this prayer. But particularly, I want to pray for a family that has suffered abject poverty. This is a wicked spirit. Going to school or not going to school does not seem to matter because these are forces that have tied down the family and they love God. In Jesus' name, I cry to the Lord God of heaven, the one who created and made for this convergence, any family that has been down by the spirit of poverty, I come in the volume of the book as it has been written in the name of Jesus as one sent by the spirit and I declare may that spirit be banished from your family may that spirit be banished from your family hallelujah banished from your family now very quickly we are going to sing this song as a prophetic song sing any part you can remember while we are singing it please collect the prayer request let's just walk with the foolishness of god's wisdom and watch what happens to you hallelujah write your prayer request very quickly and we are going to sing this song as they present it here before the lord and i assure you that by the god of heaven you will watch the wonder that will happen those outside those inside you can submit your prayer request if your if your request has not been collected just wave it let the usher see it very quickly now you pass it to the last the aisle by the left or right no one will read it don't worry just pass it so that quickly if you are yet to write a few things please release your faith let me give you a minute and those who are following from across the nations write your request very quickly this is the time when god will be visiting people mightily you came here make sure that your faith is enlarged hallelujah have you learned the song now or do we need to do any rehearsal again
other nations see Jesus lifted up. Turn it to a prayer now. Everyone, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Let it be your prayer tonight. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. When this song came to me by the Spirit, that was why I recorded it as you heard. I prayed it and prayed it and prayed it in my life. Most people have no idea what happens to a man when God breathes upon you. It's like a hen. You know how a hen sits on her eggs? And those eggs hatch and become young chicks that will also become big hens. So when you say breathe, you are saying, Lord, let your breath. His breath is powerful. It parted the Red Sea. It was the breath of God that came upon the bones in the valley of Ezekiel and turned those bones to become an exceeding great army. So as we pray over these requests, you are saying breathe. We are asking him. It's not the kneeling down of Joshua Selman that makes these prayers to be answered. God gave this song as a prophetic song to the body of Christ. This is not just to koinonia. That's going to be our prayer. Please submit your requests very quickly. We are going to sing this song one twice. Once, twice and then I speak over this request. And then I will turn the song to a prophecy and rain it upon your spirit according to isaiah 32 verse 15 that until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness is counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful vine is counted for a forest receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom let me prophesy receive manifest his power his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted receive manifest his power his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up in genesis 8 verse 1 and 2 the bible tells us that when it was time to put an end to the flood the bible says verse 2 that god caused a strong wind verse 1 now I believe that God caused a strong wind to pass over the earth so the breath of God can blow away unfavorable things it's not only life 
when you are saying breathe upon me you are saying lord breathe upon everything let shame go as you breathe let reproach go as you breathe let everything that is not of god a cupboard the name that have been named people have mocked your god you are saying lord breathe upon me and for some of you who are saying there is no life in me i don't even have hope to move forward you are saying breathe life into me you are still going to sing this song now you sing it with revelation as i prepare to pray the breath of god rock numa the wind of the spirit I prophesied as I was commanded he said and there was a sound a sound and he said son of man prophesy to the four winds and say all oh, wind breathe upon this lane and the wind came upon the bones and there arose an exceeding great army sing the song one last time with understanding in your heart breathe Lord
breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. That everything that has been written here by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. For some of you, it arrives Monday. For some Tuesday. For some tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. And hear me. Every human agent who needs to partner with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this request in the name that is above all names, wherever they are, by the power of the prophetic, we call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. Therefore, I stand upon this request and I declare, these Egyptians that you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Now I feel led to do this. We're wrapping up. In one minute, I felt stirred in my heart. The one thing you want God to do for you. I know you wrote a lot of things here. But I'm releasing my faith with you. The one thing, there may be many things. But there might be one thing you are crying and saying, Lord, visit me. You are the only one who knows whether you are outside in the next two minutes. Please, I want you to pray. I'm releasing my faith with you. And you will watch the God of wonder surprise you. You go, shut away unbelief and go ahead and pray. Impossible situations. Don't ask for something that can cheaply be answered. Ask for something that you know the answer of will be pivotal to the advancement of your destiny. Go ahead and pray. I release my faith as one sent. I release my faith by the spirit of grace. Go ahead and pray. Remember that everything about our lives are connected to his will. This is why we pray with confidence. For the Bible says this is the confidence that we have. That when we ask anything according to his will, we know that he hears us. Please go ahead and pray. Receive. Manifest. Receive. Manifest. Receive. Manifest. Receive. Keep praying. Manifest. Receive. Manifest, receive, manifest His power, His wisdom, His power, His wisdom Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Lord, we receive answers outside, inside, across the nations of the earth. We receive answers tonight by the Spirit of the living God. Answers of wisdom, answers of favor, answers of restoration answers of speed answers of establishment answers of fruitfulness answers of breakthroughs answers of higher realms answers of superior dimensions answers of open doors answers of open gates answers of open heavens in the name of jesus christ koinonia hear me 
in the name of Jesus for the remaining months of this year September ending October November December may my God who is also your God do a speedy walk in your life do a speedy walk in your life a speedy walk in your career a speedy walk in this nation a speedy walk in your family in the name of Jesus Christ I pray over these hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus you have lifted it up it will not go down you have lifted it up you will not go down everything that looks like shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ I tear it like a curtain from your life hallelujah hallelujah listen to me we are what we are like Paul said because of the abundance of the grace that he has placed upon our lives and everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it I pray for you all the time and I release many graces but let me just do one I will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there if you do not have the grace for visibility you can be gifted you will still remain in shame remain in reproach let me tell you when the grace for visibility locates you it does not matter where you are men will find you systems will find you governments will find you and exalt you I am a beneficiary of this grace I know what it can do therefore I pray for you my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of Jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being closed that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus finally every point of contact you came with i see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones i see people lifting medical bills or medical reports i see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact i stand and i call upon the god who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh i decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week 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 in the name of Jesus Christ where they rejected you let this grace rest upon you go back again in the name of Jesus Christ hear me koinonia any man who fights you beginning from today on account of what you carry goes down immediately these are not empty words let me repeat it again that on account of what you carry that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ they go down immediately suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry I call upon the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a God of vengeance may he arise for you as a God of vengeance in the name of Jesus Christ my Bible says now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ 
I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized but to be rewarded to match your true worth i want to speak that because some of you is not like you are not being rewarded but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually spiritually and otherwise in the name of jesus may my god by this mantle compensate you for every year of disfavor when laban cheated jacob and turned his wages once and again there was a compensation system for jacob it was jacob that gave birth to joseph and one joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever became a prime minister in egypt and reign preserved god's people till he died i'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise i'm saying it again may the god of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and give him all the praise wave it as an offering as you are waving it, you are saying goodbye to every demonic thing, every satanic thing that does not name the name of Christ. You are waving it prophetically. Goodbye to shame, goodbye to reproach, goodbye to yesterday in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please allow me to make the altar call. My apologies for stretching you beyond today. You can see that it was a prophetic service. You are in this place. For your sake, we are going to steal out a minute or two in this service to ensure that you make it right with Jesus. Jesus is the wisdom of God. Jesus is our redemption. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, if you will give me a chance in this prophetic atmosphere, I want to make it right once and for all with Jesus. Or you are saying, I want to rededicate my heart, my life to Jesus. I don't want you to wait until anybody comes. You be the first with boldness and with seriousness. Come and stand here. Let's celebrate them. They are coming. Young and old, male or female, are you coming? Give them a big, big hand clap as they come. Let's encourage them. He wants to breathe upon your life. Don't sit back when the Holy Spirit is telling you you should be here. Come, come, come. He wants to build you tonight. Just a minute. We are staying back for your sake. Receive, manifest his power, his wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Till the nations come see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please, if you're joining them, make it very fast because I'm about to lead them to pray. You're coming, please double up. We just have a minute for you. And please, for those who are coming from outside this place, allow them to double up their steps so that we can wrap up. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters, for coming out to make this noble decision. You have seen the hand of God. You've seen what he is able to do. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I have seen your power. I declare that I cannot help myself, but I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i am a child of god forever and ever amen keep your beautiful hands lifted as i pray for you dear lord we thank you for these precious people 
you have brought them by your spirit and the many more who are connecting making these declarations of faith across the airwaves in the name of jesus i declare that upon the authority of your word let their sins be forgiven forever and that in the name of jesus from today they become bona fide recipients of your life in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the name of the lord the lord is asking me to pray against kidnapping for a particular family just lend me a few minutes and we'll be done it's a very influential family i'm seeing people conspire and kidnapping this person and asking for a ransom of over 100 million in the name that is above all names anybody who wants to kidnap and kill anybody this one i'm the one praying quarter to that time may the earth open and swallow them i say it again i stand as a man of god that anybody conspiring to get any may the earth open and swallow them In the name of Jesus Christ, may the earth open and swallow them. Hallelujah. Place your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing. I want to speak over your life now. All those in front here, there is a woman, Kai. I want to pray for you. Um, because what you are what you think is just a lump and pain i want to cause it i'm seeing a manifestation and this is something that is cancerous and the lord wants me to rebuke it you just think it's just a lump but this thing is the devil wanting to put i hope you know that cancer is a spirit do you know that please believe it any daughter of abraham here that the devil has planted any satanic thing in your body I stand by the God who sent me for your sake. I decree and declare tonight cancer dies from your body. 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 Dies from your body. In the name of Jesus, let me pray for you. Father, anyone here who is sick you came with a sick person you can release your faith and i know that many hospitals graciously follow the miracle service all the hospitals that are following right now you can just allow the patients to make contact just by stretching their hands or if the patients are unconscious you can leave them the loved ones who are there with them can stand i'm about to pray we want to release healing to the nations and to release it here right now please i want you to believe healing is real I am a product of the healing ministry of Jesus. I pray right now, every spirit that is back of any infirmity, it does not matter the name, the form, the fashion, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. Right now I decree and declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood conditions be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Pile be healed now. All kinds of growths in your body, I command them to die now. Any abnormality in your body, drying up your bones, drying up your blood be healed from it now yes. HIV be healed yes. diabetes be healed yes. arthritis be healed yes. blindness be healed yes. deafness be healed yes. pile be healed yes. kidney problems be healed yes liver problems be healed heart conditions be healed children with autism be healed migraine headaches be healed cataracts be healed glaucoma be healed colon cancer be healed prostate cancer be healed lung cancer be healed 
bone conditions be healed joint problems be healed you are here and your ss genotype we change it now in the name of jesus there's someone you've been suffering a problem of indigestion i don't know what it is but it looks like some kind of gastrointestinal problem by the power that raised christ from the dead I stretch my hands now and I decree and declare may the power of God touch you right where you are touch you right where you are touch you right where you are now I want to pray for someone I'm seeing in the spirit both men and women from the family you come from there is a spirit I'm not asking you to come out this is the spirit of drunkenness you love God oh but you cannot see alcohol it's not like whether you are good or bad I want to pray for you because that thing you see can kill. I'm praying for you. First, the mercy of God, where you have roasted your liver, roasted parts of your body because of consuming some of these poisonous things. May God show you mercy. And then I'm praying right now. Please take it seriously. I curse the spirit of alcoholism. Let it die now in the name of Jesus Christ. Then the Lord is asking me to pray for a family. I can imagine that many families will be connected to this prayer. But particularly, I want to pray for a family that has suffered abject poverty. This is a wicked spirit. Going to school or not going to school does not seem to matter. Because these are forces that have tied down the family. And they love God. In Jesus name. I cry to the Lord God of heaven, the one who created and made for this convergence. Any family that has been down by the spirit of poverty, I come in the volume of the book as it has been written in the name of Jesus as one sent by the spirit. And I declare, may that spirit be banished from your family. May that spirit be banished from your family. hallelujah banish from your family now very quickly we are going to sing this song as a prophetic song sing any parts you can remember while we are singing it please collect the prayer request let's just walk with the foolishness of God's wisdom and watch what happens to you hallelujah write your prayer request very quickly and we are going to sing this song as they present it here before the Lord and I assure you that by the God of heaven you will watch the wonder that will happen those outside those inside you can submit your prayer request if your if your request has not been collected just wave it let the usher see it very quickly now you pass it to the last the aisle by the left or right no one will read it don't worry just pass it so that quickly if you are yet to write a few things please release your faith let me give you a minute and those who are following from across the nations write your request very quickly this is the time when god will be visiting people mightily you came here make sure that your faith is enlarged hallelujah have you learned the song now or do we need to do any rehearsal again
see Jesus lifted up. Turn it to a prayer now. Everyone, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Let it be your prayer tonight. Say, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe. This song came to me by the Spirit. That was why I recorded it as you heard. I prayed it and prayed it and prayed it in my life. Most people have no idea what happens to a man when God breathes upon you. It's like a hen. You know how a hen sits on her eggs? And those eggs hatch and become young chicks that will also become big hens. So when you say breathe, you are saying, Lord, let your breath. His breath is powerful. It parted the Red Sea. It was the breath of God that came upon the bones in the valley of Ezekiel and turned those bones to become an exceeding great army. So as we pray over these requests, you are saying breathe. We are asking him. It's not the kneeling down of Joshua Selman that makes these prayers to be answered. God gave this song as a prophetic song to the body of Christ. This is not just to koinonia. That's going to be our prayer. Please submit your requests very quickly. We're going to sing this song one twice, once twice, and then I speak over this request. And then I will turn the song to a prophecy and rain it upon your spirit according to isaiah 32 verse 15 that until the spirit is poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness is counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful vine is counted for a forest receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power, His wisdom, receive, manifest, His power, His wisdom, let me prophesy, receive, manifest, His power, His wisdom, till the nations. In Genesis 8 verse 1 and 2 the Bible tells us that when it was time to put an end to the flood the Bible says verse 2 that God caused a strong wind verse 1 now I believe that God caused a strong wind to pass over the earth so the breath of God can blow away unfavorable things it's not only life when you are saying breathe upon me you are saying Lord 
breathe upon everything let shame go as you breathe let reproach go as you breathe let everything that is not of God, a cupboard, the name that have been named, people have mocked your God. You are saying, Lord, breathe upon me. And for some of you who are saying there is no life in me, I don't even have hope to move forward. You are saying, breathe life into me. You are still going to sing this song. Now you sing it with revelation as I prepare to pray. The breath of God. Ruach. Numa. The wind of the spirit. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said, and there was a sound. A sound. And he said, son of man, prophesy to the four winds. And say, all wind, breathe upon this lane. And the wind came upon the bones. And there arose an exceeding great army. Sing the song one last time. With understanding in your heart. Breathe, Lord.
breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. That everything that has been written here by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. For some of you, it arrives Monday. For some Tuesday. For some tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. And hear me, every human agent who needs to partner with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this request in the name that is above all names, wherever they are, by the power of the prophetic, we call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. Therefore, I stand upon this request and I declare, these Egyptians that you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I feel led to do this. We're wrapping up. In one minute, I felt stirred in my heart. The one thing you want God to do for you. I know you wrote a lot of things here. But I'm releasing my faith with you. The one thing, there may be many things, but there might be one thing you are crying and saying, Lord, visit me. You are the only one who knows whether you are outside in the next two minutes. Please, I want you to pray. I'm releasing my faith with you and you will watch the God of wonder surprise you. You go, shake away unbelief and go ahead and pray. Impossible situations. Don't ask for something that can cheaply be answered. Ask for something that you know the answer of will be pivotal to the advancement of your destiny. Go ahead and pray. I release my faith as one sent. I release my faith by the spirit of grace. Go ahead and pray. Remember that everything about our lives are connected to his will. This is why we pray with confidence. For the Bible says this is the confidence that we have. That when we ask anything according to his will, we know that he hears us. Please go ahead and pray. Receive. Manifest. Receive. Manifest. Receive. Manifest, receive, keep praying, manifest, receive, manifest, receive, manifest, his power, his wisdom, his power, his wisdom. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Lord, we receive answers outside, inside, across the nations of the earth. We receive answers tonight by the Spirit of the Living God. Answers of wisdom, answers of favor, answers of restoration, answers of speed, answers of establishment, answers of fruitfulness, answers of breakthroughs, answers of higher realms, answers of superior dimensions, answers of open doors, answers of open gates, answers of open heavens in the name of Jesus Christ Koinonia hear me in the name of Jesus for the remaining months of this year 
September ending October November December may my God who is also your God do a speedy walk in your life do a speedy walk in your life a speedy walk in your career a speedy walk in this nation a speedy walk in your family in the name of Jesus Christ I pray over these hands that are lifted in the name of Jesus you have lifted it up it will not go down you have lifted it up you will not go down everything that looks like shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ I tear it like a curtain from your life hallelujah hallelujah listen to me we are what we are like Paul said because of the abundance of the grace that he has placed upon our lives and everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it I pray for you all the time and I release many graces but let me just do one I will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there if you do not have the grace for visibility you can be gifted you will still remain in shame remain in reproach let me tell you when the grace for visibility locates you it does not matter where you are men will find you systems will find you governments will find you and exalt you I am a beneficiary of this grace I know what it can do therefore I pray for you my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of Jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being close that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus finally every point of contact you came with i see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones i see people lifting medical bills or medical reports i see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact i stand and i call upon the god who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact to make you laugh i decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week 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 in the name of Jesus Christ where they rejected you let this grace rest upon you go back again in the name of Jesus Christ hear me koinonia any man who fights you beginning from today on account of what you carry goes down immediately these are not empty words let me repeat it again that on account of what you carry that any man who fights you because of where God has placed you I'm calling upon the God of vengeance that in the name of Jesus Christ they go down immediately suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry I call upon the God of Jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a God of vengeance may he arise for you as a God of vengeance in the name of Jesus Christ my Bible says now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ I taught you that honor 
is the ability to not only be recognized but to be rewarded to match your true worth i want to speak that because some of you is not like you are not being rewarded but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually spiritually and otherwise in the name of jesus may my god by this mantle compensate you for every year of this favor when laban cheated jacob and turned his wages once and again there was a compensation system for jacob it was jacob that gave birth to joseph and one joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever became a prime minister in egypt and reigned preserved god's people till he died i'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon cheated manipulated whether career wise or otherwise i'm saying it again may the god of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you in the name of jesus christ wave your hands to jesus and give him all the praise wave it as an offering as you are waving it you are saying goodbye to every demonic thing every satanic thing that does not name the name of christ you are waving it prophetically goodbye to shame goodbye to reproach goodbye to yesterday in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the name of the lord now please allow me make the altar call my apologies for stretching you beyond today you can see that it was a prophetic service you are in this place for your sake, we are going to steal out a minute or two in this service to ensure that you make it right with Jesus. Jesus is the wisdom of God. Jesus is our redemption. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, if you will give me a chance in this prophetic atmosphere, I want to make it right once and for all with Jesus. Or you are saying, I want to rededicate my heart, my life to Jesus. I don't want you to wait until anybody comes. You be the first with boldness and with seriousness. Come and stand here. Let's celebrate them. They are coming. Young and old, male or female, are you coming? Give them a big, big hand clap as they come. Let's encourage them. He wants to breathe upon your life. Don't sit back when the Holy Spirit is telling you you should be here. Come. 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 He wants to build you tonight. Just a minute. We are staying back for your sake. Receive. Manifest. His power. His wisdom. Till the nations. See Jesus. Lifted up. Exalted. Till the nations come see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please, if you're joining them, make it very fast because I'm about to lead them to pray. You're coming, please double up. We just have a minute for you. And please, for those who are coming from outside this place, allow them to double up their steps so that we can wrap up. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, brothers and sisters, for coming out to make this noble decision. You have seen the hand of God. You've seen what he is able to do. May I request that you lift your right hand high above your head and say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I have seen your power. I declare that I cannot help myself, but I believe that you are the son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive you into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i am a child of god forever and ever amen keep your beautiful hands lifted as i pray for you dear lord we thank you for these precious people 
you have brought them by your spirit and the many more who are connecting making these declarations of faith across the airwaves in the name of jesus i declare that upon the authority of your word let their sins be forgiven forever and that in the name of jesus from today they become bona fide recipients of your life in the name of jesus we believe you are blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.